Welcome to Rocksteady Studios and episode three of Arkham Insider. Today, we're gonna to be getting intimate with three key characters from Batman Arkham Knight. And as always, we're gonna be feeling the heat, taking questions from the community. And here we are once again on the world's most comfortable couch. This time I'm joined by Rocksteady's lead character artist, Albert. Big Albert, how you doing? I'm very good, thank you very much. We're coming to the end of the, the production of the game. Yeah. You're looking pretty relaxed. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah? Uh, bring it on, I said bring on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Now, um, as lead character artist, you have got an immense responsibility yeah. for uh, the design of characters within the Arkhamverse. Uh, we're going to look at a few right here, the first one being the Arkham Knight, and what we know about him is he's the commander of this immense military force that has invaded Gotham City. So talk us through how the reality of his role in the game has influenced the design of him as a character. So his role in the game, like ultimately he works with Scarecrow to, to take down the bat. Yeah. So his design was ultimately made just for that role. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's got a very military look to him. Yeah. Like he's got the antennas that reflect the, the bad years. Yeah. It's kind of a mockery of the Batman. Uh -huh. um, he can pull it off as well. He also has this visor that has all sorts of information about what's going on in the city. Okay. You know, like um, it's like a heads-up display yeah, within pretty his pretty visor. Much, yeah, there's a map on the forehead. Sweet. He's got like a little other one there with all the drones that are tracking everything that's happening in the city. Yeah. So. So that's his, his role. Right. And on the other hand, he, he's also a very military dude, right? So he's wearing this camouflage, and that's like, it's being cloned to the whole of his forces. So right. the militia forces, the, the soldiers have it, the tanks have it, the drones have it. Yeah. You can really tell that these guys are the Arkham Knight's forces. Yeah. And that's the main, the main trait to distinguish them. Now let's have a look at the big bad, Scarecrow. So clearly Scarecrow is the mastermind, the puppet master, yes. the guy who's coordinating the forces of the rogues gallery to take down Batman as a collective force of evil. We haven't seen him since Arkham Asylum and he didn't appear at all in Batman Arkham City. He's back in Batman Arkham Knight. How has that journey affected and influenced the character design of Scarecrow this time around? Well, Scarecrow, the message we're trying to send with this design is he's come back stronger than ever, meaner than ever. Yeah. It took ages to develop his face and the hood and the way everything works together. Like the skin is kind of melted with the, the rugged sack cloth, you know, yeah. like he's got and it's falling off with like strings and yeah. he's got this evil look, like almost like you cannot have a real connection with his eyes. Right. He's always, always keeping himself inside. Yeah. You can see he wears all the fear toxin all around him. It's like that's his armor, that's also his weapon. He kind of wraps himself in fear toxin. Yeah, 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 and that causes so much threat, right? Yeah. Like if you take me out, well, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. So it is, it is very, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sweet, now let's have a look at the big man himself. Batman in Batman Arkham Knight looks like he's ready for war. Talk us through the design of the new Batsuit. Well, in a nutshell, he's ready to take out the Arkham Knight forces. Yeah. He's ready to take out the Scarecrow. And yeah, the bat suit needs to reflect that. Yeah. It needs to reflect he's more flexible, he's stronger, he can move faster, he can take all the force that it takes to glide around the city at incredible heights. Um, so the cape has been implemented not around the rim of the cowl, but underneath the armor padding. And uh, as you can see, the chest armor is flexible, it separates. The bat sign is still his strongest speed, yeah. uh, as is traditional in, Batman, in the Batman universe and the Arkham games. Shoulder pads, you know, boots, gauntlets, that's like traditional Batman. So those classic the features, level. but to this kind of heavily militarized yeah. level. Yeah, he needs to be he heavily militarized. His design is to reflect that of the Batmobile. Yeah, because I think there's a real kind of connection and crossover between the design of yeah. the Batmobile and the design of this Batsuit that I just think marries perfectly. Yes, when we got the design from, Bat from the Batmobile, yeah. we were like, yeah, this, we're gonna do a Batman that fits the Batmobile. We kind of took all the shapes, took all the colors, the materials, and try to make them, you know, like 
a, to make a connection between the two. Yeah. So human and machine. Man and machine together. Yeah, that's it. Facing down the forces of the Arkansas <laughs> Scarecrow. You say it, man. Boom. All right. Albert, it's clear that more than just a little bit of love has gone into the creation of these characters over the last four years. How do you think Batman fans are going to react when they play Batman Arkham Knight? Well, we hope that they're going to love the designs. We always watch for what they say on YouTube, what they say in the forums, make sure that all the feedback is addressed as much as possible because they are the people who know about Batman, right? Yeah. Um, so I just want to make sure that everything is good with them, it's good with us, everyone's happy. So yeah, four years, this is it. A whole lot of love. Yep, a whole lot of love, man. That was Albert the Character King here at Rocksteady Studios. We're joined once again by Ian Ball, lead designer. Of course, Albert is back. Question number one comes in from Brandon. Boom! And he asks, does the Batmobile get its own talent tree, like gadgets and physical abilities? Ian, this sounds like one for you. It is, and the Batmobile does have its own talent tree. You can upgrade the weapons, you can upgrade the different systems inside the Batmobile, which will allow Batman to eject higher and further out of the car quicker. Nice. Fire more weapons, upgrade the firepower. There's loads of different upgrades for the Batmobile. Just like Batman himself, the onboard weaponry, all of the systems, they've all got their own development trees. They do. <clears throat> Number two comes in from The Tenth, and they ask, what was the hardest character to adapt slash design for the next gen graphics? Albert, this one's right down your street. I would say that was Poison Ivy. Okay. Um, getting the that design to work, I um, mean, such realism, and then trying to get the subtleties on the skin and just trying to get that, that beauty and transfer it into the next gen without, you know, going too, too crazy. It was a real challenge. And it looks awesome. Thanks. Nice job. Question number three, Headby asks, what was the design and decision-making process for the looks of the characters? Normally it starts with with going to the design team and the script team, yep. just seeing what's going on with the character, what story is behind it, what details can we get. Then we meet with the art director and we try to squeeze as many thoughts as we can, work on, you know, like silhouettes, work on details, and then once we are hands on, just keep on iterating through the character until the project's over, pretty much. Because you guys, just, you've been polishing for what feels like years yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been a, a long process. Nice. Tagger 101 comes at us with this. How hard was it to find a balance between Batman and the Arkham Knight ability-wise, Ian Ball? Batman and the Arkham Knight are very evenly matched. It's like the immovable object and the unstoppable force. Mm. They're clashing. Batman's got the Batmobile, the Arkham Knight has got his whole military force behind him. Something's got to give, but which way is it going to go? Thank you very much for hitting us with those. We will get around to answering each and every other question that comes in as soon as we can. I wish we could do this all day long, but we can't. That's it for this episode of Arkham Insider. Let us know what you thought down in the comments, and we'll see you next time. And until then, be the Batman.